got a story. I want you to listen to it's all about that gal of mine who does a hooch and coo. A hooch coochie gal, I love you. A hooch coochie gal, it's true. A hooch coochie gal, I love you. Swear to God, I do. Swear to God, I do. I took her to a party. James Mask, Hoochie Coochie Gal, kicking off tonight's show, which comes to you live on BBC Radio Scotland. Welcome from a rather sunny, rather warm, rather what have we done to deserve this sort of sunshine, Glasgow. I'm in the studio with producer Nick and we are thoroughly enjoying the climate control. We were also thoroughly enjoying this week's Travelling Folk and... That's the show that precedes ours, if you've never heard of it before. And I recommend that you catch up on BBC Sounds. When you have a walk, a car journey, a couple of hours to film, you'll never be let down by the charming Anna Massey and her team. Hey, just the second we've received a message from David via text saying, didn't get the chance to listen live last week, but I took you and producer Nick a hike up Tinto Hill with me on Wednesday listening on BBC Sounds. So you could do the very same with this show or Travelling Folk. That's what we recommend. Recommend. Thanks, David, for the message. Appreciate it. We have a couple of hours to fill from now until midnight. We are going to be going off air at the exact moment that I will no longer be able to say it's my birthday and 37 will feel like the new normal. My present to you, I'm not obsessed with getting gifts. I'm always embarrassed to receive gifts, but I am delighted to give them. So my present to you is music that I hope you'll love. Our late great is going to be Tony Joe Cocker. Leo Marjan is going to take us from A to B en français. And there'll be music from PJ Harvey and a whole bunch of other artists. So for first time listeners, I hope you like what you hear. And for the regulars I suppose the very same I hope that you enjoy the show as well I've had a really great day so to market here's Joan Armour Trading this is I'm Lucky
The opening track from 1981's Walk Under Ladders, Joan Armour Trading, I'm Lucky. I've received so many lovely messages today. I can't thank you enough if you sent one. I was reflecting in the car on the way here. Do you know, we don't know one another. We are not friends and for the most part we've never met. So I'm so amazed by the majority of messages that are so familiar, so friendly and I'm genuinely, truly grateful. It makes all the difference to think, especially doing the radio because it's live. It just feels like I've made a connection with a few of you. So I really am so, so grateful to you for those lovely messages. Really buoyed me today. Now, I'm not angling for birthday cheer when I say this, but do feel free to contact us tonight. You're so welcome to do that. Any shout outs, song suggestions, that sort of jazz. I mean, a few of you have been messaging to say it's your birthday as well. So if that's the case, hey, I will share the Gemini love with you quite happily and give you a happy birthday over the airwaves. So if you want to text, that's the easiest way. 80295 is the number. Those texts just flash in front of me, in front of producer Nick, and we'll read them out right away. If you want to find me on Instagram, on Twitter, then and they're sort of personal pages, so just look for my full name, Natasha Raskin Sharp, and you'll find me there. On Facebook, we have a page dedicated to the show. So search for my name and it'll come up, the radio show. So please, lovely to hear from you. I'll read out some of those messages in due course. This is newish from PJ Harvey. There is newer, but I listened to both singles from the forthcoming album, and this is my preferred number. I, Inside the Old Year Dying, will be the artist's 10th studio album, and it's pretty imminent, seeing as we're already in the middle of June. July 7th seems really far away, but actually it's just around the corner. So that's the date for your diary, and for your, not just for your ears, for your so here's a child's question, August.
Child's Question August by the inimitable PJ Harvey. And there are so many imitators, but only one true PJH. It's my birthday. I'll stop mentioning it soon. I think I'm just excited because I'm never at home for it. My friend texted me earlier, a lovely mail, and said, remember you spent your birthday with Owen Owen, the weatherman last year? And I, I, no, I did not remember that. I had forgotten it was a celebrity bargain hunt. And uh, yeah, I remembered as soon as she mentioned it, there was cake. There were lots of celebs there that day. It was a lovely day and there was sunshine too, but I was in Derbyshire and I'm so thrilled to be in Glasgow and to be able to see my lovely family. Even my in-laws are here. It's a whole thing. So I've gone wild and curated not a two in a row. Get ready for a three in a row. It's radical. I feel like the late Paul O'Grady. He used to do a three in a row on a Sunday, didn't he? <laughs> I think he might have been nipping off for a cigarette. I think he might have been. Not the case with me this evening. But hey, to kick things off in a celebratory style, this is Sir Victor Uefo. Happy day from me to you.
from me to you, not happy birthday, happy day from me to you by Sir Victor Oefu. Pretty self-explanatory. Then it was Frankie Cosmos with birthday song, no brainer. The most hidden birthday message was provided by Laura Nero in Road Notes. Happy birthday, 30s. She slipped into the lyrics. All excellent. All brought in in under eight minutes. The Swamp Fox, Tony Joe White, is in our thoughts now. He's our late great, having passed away in 2018, aged 75. We're talking about the man who wrote Rainy Night in Georgia. So many people have made it their own. It's hard to to just remember the original... The, the, the original... What's the word? The origin story. I couldn't remember the word. The original story. The origin story of the original. Gosh, I need to move on from that word. It's easy to forget. And what a thing to be able to say to your descendants. You know that song? One of musical history's most beloved? Yeah. I wrote that. My reintroduction to his work was via another recent late great, Tina Turner. He wrote one of the best Tina songs ever. He wrote a few for her, but one of the best ever, Steamy Windows. We are talking about an incredible songwriter. He described himself as a real life Billy Joe. He came from humble beginnings, working in the cotton fields, and he made a real mark on this world. So here's a smash hit from 1969, Tony Joe White's Book Salad Annie. Sound too much. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this so that you understand what I'm talking about. Down there, we have a plant that grows out in the woods and the fields. Looks something like a turnip green. Everybody calls it poke salad. Poke salad. You snow a girl live down there and she'd go out in the evenings and pick her a mess of it. Get home and cook it for supper. Cause that's about all they had to eat. They did all right. I'm down in Louisiana, where the alligators grow so mean. The little dog girl that I swear to the world made the alligators look tame. Poke salad and it. Everybody said it was a shame Cause her mama was working on a chain gang A mean business woman <clears throat> Every day for supper time She'd go down by the truck patch And pick her mess of poke salad
Polk Salad Annie by the late, great Tony Joe White, 1943 to 2018. Could you get your TV licence for free? If you or someone you live with is over 75 and one of you receives pension credit, your TV licence could be paid for by the BBC. And if you don't currently get pension credit, why not find out if you can? You could be enjoying your favourite TV programmes for free. And what's your final answer? 42. To find out if you or someone you live with is eligible, call the Pension Credit Claim Line on 0800 99 1234. Your call won't cost a penny and you could get your TV licence for free. You're listening to Natasha Raskin Sharp on BBC Radio Scotland. It's my birthday and it's Chris's birthday too on Instagram. Chris Sale, he says, no way, I'm 38 today. I'm 37, you see. He says, I look more than one year older than you. I don't believe it. Trout catcher, of course, I'm going to read this one out. Happy birthday, Natasha. I thought you were around 20. It's the winky face emojis that really do the damage there to be Frank Trout Catcher, but I'm just going to pretend they don't exist. And then this is a gentleman, PJD Antiques, I met a few moons ago at an antiques fair. Happy birthday. And me, I, hey, Lash Galabi, Bonnie Lass. I can't remember what it means, but I remember it was a good phrase and it was inoffensive, so <laughs> I'm sure. I haven't said anything terribly wrong in Old Scots there, but thank you very much for the message. Phoebe, my fellow bridesmaid at my sister's wedding. Hi, Phoebe. Happy birthday, she says. Oh, delighted. Happy birthday. There are just so many lovely messages on there. Have one of the best days ever. Oh, I'm really grateful for that. You know, it has been such a lovely day and the weather genuinely makes that better. Happy birthday from the Netherlands says Taco Taco V Ludmans Takov Takov Ludmans great name I've absolutely butchered it but Takov if that's your name I'm so grateful that you are tuning in from the Netherlands how lovely to hear from you that's on Instagram you can find me there just my full name same on Twitter on Facebook look for my full name and find the page for this show or text us 80295 is the number to text and we're always happy to hear from you always 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 Michelle says happy birthday oh happy birthday enjoy she says thank you very much indeed not much time left to milk it I'll probably stop banging on about it soon but will I? that is the question will I? to 1975 we go to a self-titled album by Ted Lucas in fact not just self-titled self-released as well and there was not much fanfare at the time but now everyone's digging it that's what happens isn't it? a quick glance online tells me that Ted Lucas was in a number of bands the Spike Drivers, the Misty Wizards, the Boogie Disease and the sensationally named the Horny Toads. Now, Nick is convinced that I've played the Horny Toads before. We checked it out. I have not. Someone that he's produced on BBC Radio Scotland has been spinning the Horny Toads and I'm devastated that I was not the first, but you may well hear them. I'll need to check it out first. But I, you may well hear them on an upcoming playlist. He's on his toad on this one. Terrible. Uh, this is called Baby, Where Are You? If I could be Baby, where you are If I could be Baby, where you are If I could see, baby, what you see, then I would know, baby, what you know, just to be, baby, where you are. If I could go, baby, where you go? If I could know, baby, what you know, then I could see, baby, what 
what you see Just to be Baby, where you are Just to see Baby, where you are Then I would know Baby, where are you, Ted Lucas? Wonder what he would make of the love that his solo album received after it was reissued in 2010. He passed away in 1992. We owe Marjorie, location unknown, we owe her some gratitude. She was in touch with this suggestion for this week's A to B. We've reached that feature already. She says, I know you love a song sung in French, Natasha. So may I suggest the wartime favourite, Léo Marjan? I'm absolutely ecstatic that you did, Marjorie. I'd never heard of her before. Thanks again for writing in. We're heading back to 1941, the year that this 10-inch shellac was released. It's A-Side was written by Charles Trenet and translates to Alone Tonight, released when it was. The resonance with all of those women and men missing their partners, brothers, sons was seriously potent. So to the 1940s we go with Léo Marjan, side A, seul ce soir. Je viens de fermer ma fenêtre Le brouillard qui tombe est glacé Jusque dans ma chambre il pénètre Notre chambre où meurt le passé Je suis seule ce soir Avec mes rêves Je suis seule ce soir Sans ton amour Le jour tombe Ma joie s'achève tout se brise dans mon cœur lourd. Je suis seul ce soir avec ma peine. J'ai perdu l'espoir de ton retour. Et pourtant, je t'aime. Ne me laisse pas seul sans ton amour. Dans la cheminée, le vent pleure, les roses, ses feuilles sans bruit, l'horloge en marquant les quarts d'heure d'un son grêle vers ce long. Ce soir, avec mes rêves, je suis seul ce soir, sans ton amour. Le jour tombe, ma joie s'achève, tout se brise dans mon cœur lourd. Je t'aime encore et pour toujours 
Ne me laisse pas seul sans ton amour. So, ce soir, side B, attends-moi, mon amour. We had Leo Marjan taking us from A to B, and we have Marjorie to thank us for to th for us to thank for the suggestion. Really grateful for it. If you have a nomination, a single that you would love to hear in its entirety, played here on BBC Radio Scotland with our nifty sound effect in the middle. Actually, quite nice tonight. A scratchy record with a scratchy sound effect to flip the record. It just worked perfectly well. So if you have a single that you own, love, covet and always wanted to have in your possession, whatever it is, feel free to get in touch. It can span the decades, it can span the genre, it can do whatever you want it to do. You just have to send it in to 80295 or find us on social media. Plenty of you have done that on Facebook tonight. Happy birthday, says the candy store, Tommy Tangos. I hope we don't consider that advertisement. Maybe it's just a handle. Anyway, same other candy stores are available. Same day as my wife, Angela. So happy birthday, Angela. They're celebrating tomorrow night. So there you go. Hopefully you really enjoy what's going to be a cracker. A 
according to your husband, Brian. Thank you for the very merry unbirthday. Appreciate it greatly. David is quizzing Dave even, but happy birthday. Thank you nonetheless. Over on the text messages... Happy birthday, Gemma's mum. You're on your way back from Loch Lomond. It's your 50th birthday treat. Well, it was brunch and a cruise on the loch. And then, this is the best bit of the whole message, finished with the obligatory big shop before heading back to Kintyre. Now, there's nothing I like more than the big shop at any point in the week. But I'm just hoping, Gemma, that you picked up the tab for mum. And it's made me realise that's the best gift anyone could ever get anyone. Just... Let's go to the big shop and I'll pay for it. That is sensational. Gemma, you've played a blinder. And if you didn't, well, sorry, Mum, you had to pay for your own big shop. But at least you got taken on a cruise. Oh, thank you very much for being in touch. That's 80295. And then there's one here. Hi, Natasha. Just wondering, while listening, that sounds like the girl from the Antiques programme on Bargain Hunt. Then two seconds later, you said something about... Bargain Hunt. Oh no, I read that incorrectly. The Antiques Programme on the television. Then two seconds later you said something about Bargain Hunt. It's you! Timing, etc. Enjoy your show, great tunes, great voice for the radio too. Oh, thank you very much. That's a lovely thing to say to somebody. You're the double of a friend of mine. So uncanny. Mannerism, sense of humour. Maybe we all do have a double after all. Mm. I think I have a doppelganger in Glasgow who's a dentist because the amount of people who've come over to me and said something really odd, like, hmm, I think you've cleaned my teeth. <laughs> it's, it's too many for it not to be a dentist in Glasgow with whom I bear, or to whom I bear a striking resemblance. So there you go. Maybe we all do have a doppelganger. Let's bring back some memories for producer Nick. He was there, man. Well, I wasn't, but I do like to revisit this period of Scottish music, the early 80s, and this was a happy discovery, a discovery for me anyway. Everest the Hard Way is the name of the band, the song When You're Young.
Everest the hard way when you're on, reminding me that I spent some time at a charity event with Kenton Cool, the man who's summited Everest like 17 times or something. He's definitely done it every way that you can. I haven't played something from Zambia in ages, some Zamrock from the 70s, so to correct that, here's some which. It's an acronym. We intend to cause havoc, and they do just that with mashed potato. <laughs> Yeah. 
I mean, should we just do a show on which we play that song on a loop for two hours? I would be absolutely fine with that. But instead, we're going to round off this first hour with something from Shilpa Ray from New York. It's from an album not so radio friendly. I had to mine the depths to find something that producer Nick didn't have to tweak with to make it playable here on BBC Radio Scotland. This one's clean and it's called Same Sociopath. Here he comes, a swagger would have been perfect for our old In the Name of feature as it name checks Angela Lansbury so many times. Sensational from Shilpa Ray. That's called Same Sociopath. Hey, we'll be back, the two of us, the same after the news, which is read tonight by Craig McMurrin.
The dreams I've seen lately Keep turning out And burn it out And turn it out Say So put me On a highway And show me A sign And take it To the limit One more time You can spend all 
good about the fact that they were all quite succinct and so you weren't waiting for ages for the round off but just also quite liberating to do three in a row. I understand why people do it now, you know? I get it. So thank you very much for being in touch. Where haven't I been? I haven't been to Twitter tonight. So let's give a few shout outs on Twitter. One especially to Quinton Wheaterings. Quinton Wheaterings is a sensational name and we share the same birthday and apparently, oh no, we don't share the same birthday. We share the same age. Okay, I get it. Welcome to the 37 Club is the implication. Delighted to be joined. Thank you very much. David says, hope you've had a lovely day and lots of nice gifts. Yeah, many gifts involving SPF. I think people are worried about my skin and I think quite rightly we should all be very aware of sun protection so I'm pleased to receive it. I suppose that's something that will happen if your birthday is in June, slap bang in the middle of the year. Cameron says, happy birthday, Tash. Surely you shouldn't be doing the cooking on your birthday, though. (laughs) Hey, I am such a bad cook. I have said that so many times. Today, it went really well. Genuinely, everything was not only edible, but a few things were in danger of being quite delicious. So I'm... Genuinely thrilled with that. Uh, over on Facebook, Audrey saying happy birthday. Thank you very much, Audrey. Dave, happy birthday. Snoopy over in Sweden has gone out of his way to write a two-part poem. So genuinely thankful for that. Really, it feels like I have so many friends. In real life, I think I'd struggle to fill a table of 10 if I was having a birthday party. <laughs> and yet it looks as though I have so many friends online in the form of you. So thank you very much. I'm absolutely thrilled to hear from you. This does not in any way apply because I'm so full of joy today, but it is a great song. So the band and the song to mend a broken heart.
soul to mend a broken heart. Hey, we're going to be going across the globe in this hour because I know at one point for certain that we're going to go to Lima in Peru and right now we're heading to Japan. We're going to hear something from Kaigo Oyamada, a.k.a. Cornelius. This is brand new. He was making music, decided to take some time off when the pandemic came in understandable but he's back with a new song it's according to all of the reviews he's at the top of his game better than ever and it's only a couple of weeks old so get into this if you're hearing it for the first time I certainly did just the other day and it ticked a lot of boxes for me so the artist once again Cornelius and the song Sparks
some of the lyrics from Japanese translating into English and the Sparks flew. Sparks by Cornelius. If you were quite into that, there's a new album just about to be released. It's called Dream in Dream. June 28th is the day we'll all be able to hear it in its entirety. Now, this one is certainly one that's a bit of a head scratcher and it was in the early 80s. I actually haven't spoken to producer Nick about it. I wonder if he has wild memories of De Fee. No, shake of the head, actually, shake of the head. So maybe not massively known, but they were two guys, Simon Fisher Turner and Colin Lloyd Tucker, each embracing the same notion that I have. Why have one name when you can have three? And they were basically posing as two women and surrounding themselves in mystery and intrigue. They told the world that they had met when they had both encountered real tragedy in their lives and then one of them disappeared hitchhiking on the continent or something. I cannot remember the story exactly. I looked it up a few days ago. But I was reading it. I was genuinely sucked in. It sounded so tragic. These two young women brought together by tragedy a shared experience or relatable experiences that brought them together. But something quite unsettling about the image on the album cover and yeah turns out absolutely made up complete nonsense just fabrication and then they decided what are we doing let's pursue something else this is very strange either we're going to get found out we have been found out I don't know I wonder what they both think about the fact that they did that I I, I mean genuinely I don't know much about it but I do know that this one is great. It must have been quite frustrating if you were enjoying this music and maybe bought into that narrative and then discovered it was all a hoax because the music is good. Actually, it's called L'Intrigue, this one. And I, if I remember correctly from my French studies, I think that might be a false friend. So as much as this is intriguing, and I think that intrigue means to intrigue, I think that L'Intrigue actually means something like... I think it means something like the action or, or something like that. I think it's to do with films as it so happens. I think it might be a false friend. So a false friend definitely fits the narrative and maybe a word that means intriguing, but maybe also means something else. Honestly, this is layer upon layer. Duffy, here we go. This is from Silence and Wisdom. It is l'intrigue.
told you it was good, but you're just going to have to look up that story because you can't take my word for it because I clearly can't remember the detail. But weird and wonderful, I think, sums it up quite neatly. De fil intrigue, hopefully that worked for you. I knew I was going to be here on BBC Radio Scotland on my birthday, so I thought I'd better find something. Well, I mean, I'm sure no one would have been in touch to say, hey, you didn't play something from the year in which you were born, but it would have been something that I wanted to tick off the list. So here we are. We're going to 1986. That was the year of my birth. And increasingly, I have to scroll further and further down when you have to fill in your date of birth. (laughs) Yep, eventually we get to 86. We get there eventually. That is the year that Sebado was formed. And this is, having listened to a few of their tracks, this is the one I landed on eventually. It's called Soul and Fire. A bit of 90s Sebado, Soul and Fire, and it leads us into the 1970s. Hey, Jimmy, Jimmy, give me the gimmicks. 
We're going now to 1977. Thank you, John Cooper Clark. I will give you some gimmicks. In fact, it won't be me. It'll be Monty Python that does it. They came up with an excellent gimmick and they decided to create the instant record collection. Why have one when you can make it look as though you have dozens? You open the gatefold sleeve and it all gets a bit Blue Peter after that. There are many folds, there are many twists and as a result, so many of these sleeves are ripped up and therefore in terrible condition. And even those that aren't are not really worth anything this record it's worth a few pounds but basically it's a trick of the eye it's take a flat almost 2d obviously not but a very flat record sleeve and turn it into a 3d cube that you can insert into that blank void in your record shelf and create an instant collection Difficult to choose a song from this one, but it is a great gimmick. But we've gone for Eric the Half a B. I want two, I want two, three, four. Half a B, philosophically, must ipso facto half not be. But half the B has got to be a vis a vis its entity. Do you see? But can a bee be said to be, or not to be, an entire bee, when half the bee is not a bee, due to some ancient injury? Singing. A la dee dee, a one, two, three, Eric the half a bee, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Eric the half a bee. Is this a wretched demi bee? Half asleep upon my knee, some freak from a menagerie. No, it's Eric the half a bee. A fiddly dum, a fiddly dee. Eric the half a bee. Ho, ho, ho. This hive employee bisected accidentally one summer afternoon by me. I love him carnally. He loves him carnally. Semi carnally. The end. Cyril Connolly? No, semi carnally. Oh. Cyril Connolly Monty Python first spin on this show that was Eric, the half a B from their insert record collection, giving us plenty of gimmicks. If you would like to suggest a gimmicky record, we're always happy to hear those suggestions, 80295, or find us on social media because there's a finite amount and it's interesting to hear your suggestions as well. Perhaps you own one that we haven't played yet. So how about you give it a spin? And talking about spinning, two in a row for you now, where it's pretty easy to understand the connection between these two. Once you've heard the first, you'll understand exactly why you're hearing the second not three in a row. I'm not feeling so bold this time. Just two. Terry Callier starts us off with spin, spin, spin.
every purpose under the head to everything felt like there was a moment when I was playing Nina Simone almost every single show I found her hard to resist for a good few months over the course of the years that I've been doing this programme but then I haven't played her in ages and it felt like the perfect way to bring her back was to compliment Terry Callier's spin 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 with Nina Simone's version of turn 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 to everything there is a season and what a version it is now I don't know if you remember a few weeks ago, yes, we're not talking months, we're talking weeks at this point. I was out on the Antiques Road trip and I took a nice photograph, or someone took a nice photograph, of me grooming a Highland cow who was called Morag. I think I was in Beverly near Hull, if I remember correctly, and went to this lovely farm and was allowed to groom a Highland cow. And it was a lovely moment. Said Highland cow, Morag, has just wished me a happy birthday on Facebook. It's a big moment for me. She's found her opposable hooves and she has somehow been in touch. It's lovely to hear from you, Morag. Thank you very, very much, Gavin. You are absolutely exhausted due to the weather, but you'll be listening in the future tomorrow, which for you is right now. Hopefully you're enjoying what you're hearing, catching up on sounds. Thank you very much for your message and an excellent name, but I've lost it. I'm scrolling around and I'm looking. There it is. Spant Rally. I mean, genuinely, the best name on tonight's playlist or shout outs is Spant Rally. And we had the horny toads at one point, but Spant Rally takes the biscuit. Such a good name. Happy birthday from Nova Scotia. Thank you very much for sending those greetings all that way. Now, no one was expecting a new record from Blonde Redhead this year because it's been ages since they put one out. It's been nine years, if I can count. Yes, my maths is so bad. It's been nine years since Barragan was released and Sit Down for Dinner is on the cusp of release. So this is another new one. I think we've only ever, only ever, we've only had one new track tonight, brand new. That was from Cornelius. That was Sparks. That was... The only one I thought we had that was a new release, but then I've just stumbled across this blonde redhead track because they were formed in the 90s. I'd forgotten that it was new. I was thinking that we were harking back. Instead, we're at the cutting edge, and this is called Snowman.
One program. Get it on. It is BBC Radio Scotland. I'm Brian Burnett. Countless themes. Those pop stars that maybe you were lucky enough to be at the gig and thought, wow, I've got to let you know. Tonight, revenge is what we're after. These boots are gonna walk all over you. We're looking forward to an upbeat, inspirational playlist. I'm Endless possibilities. We talked about self improvement. Paul said, rip it up and start again. Rip it up and start again. You choose the music. That's what makes the show good fun because yeah. genuinely you never know what you're going to play next. Get it on Monday to Thursday from 6 pm on BBC Radio Scotland. I love the potluck nature of Brian Burnett's Get It On, but if you're looking for something more curated in advance, then you can catch up on the key sessions with Roddy Hart that went out last night and Fergus McCready was on there sharing his favourite live album and looking ahead at the Glasgow Jazz Festival, which had just kicked off yesterday. And as it so happens, Michelle McManus was on the afternoon show yesterday, that was the 14th of June, talking about jazz as well. Mama Terra were live in session and Shona Aitken fabulous broadcaster fabulous musician she was talking about her show at the Glasgow Jazz Festival which is all about Stefan Grappelli so if you're interested in catching up on sounds all things jazz on the key sessions and the afternoon show and if you're looking for something to listen to tomorrow then between 6 and 8 o'clock you have Grant Stott's Vinyl Collective to look forward to celebrating anniversaries for Jamiroquai and Ella Fitzgerald so if you're looking for something that covers all bases Grant has you sorted. I really enjoy the band Shannon and the Clams. I hope that you do too. At first I enjoyed it just because the name of the band is Shannon and the Clams. That was my initial attraction, I won't lie to you. But the music delivers. This one's called, well, first of all, the album's called Onion, which is just delightful to me. The song is called Tryin'.
is oh I am trying show on a high note I love a bit of Shannon and the clams that one's called trying do you know I'm so delighted that our final song is this one because I very rarely get to be in Glasgow on my birthday and here I am surrounded by family spending the evening alongside producer Nick in the studio it's a glorious time so we end with Gloria Barnes and this one is appropriately called home
Just one other thing I want to say to you, baby. I'm going to do everything that you want me to. Oh, baby. I said home. Oh, just listen to those lyrics. Rest my heart, rest my mind, take it easy. I will do exactly that, Gloria. Thank you very much for our final song, Gloria Barnes. That was home. I did say that we were going to take a trip to Peru at some point in this hour, but I'd rather be in Glasgow than Peru, so home felt more appropriate. We'll just have to go to South America next week, and we will do that. I'll so look forward to being here next week. I'll be fully on board with my new age by then. It's been a pleasure broadcasting to you live tonight. I'll see you next week. Five Live. Done.